There's the final whistle. And Seattle prevail, defeating Atlanta by a score of four goals to none. And it's a fourth USL championship for the Sounders. The first time I heard of Sebastian Le Tour, I'm going to tell you, I was in Akron, Ohio. Really? In my hotel room. Um, you were what, seven, eight? <laughs> <laughs> Seattle had just drafted me, and okay. I was going to be moving there in two days. And then, but our first ever signing ever in the club MLS was Sebastian Le Tour. Tell me about that moment when you knew you were going from USL to MLS. We knew that the MLS experience were coming in two years. So in my head, I was already, oh great, I would like to play for the MLS team, you know, here. And, uh, but after like, I finished the first year in USL, <coughs> I got like a few contacts with the uh, MLS team. I remember LA Galaxy like, kind of approached me a little bit to maybe sign with them and stuff like that. And I was like, no, I'd, I want to be in Seattle. So with Adrian, I think we, we talk a lot about it. And, um, I think he find a, a loop in a system of uh, the MLS rules and everything happening to uh, be able to me to sign with MLS and MLS loan me to Seattle Sanders USL team which will make me directly a MLS player for the year after because I will play with uh, Seattle. So Back then, when you first arrived, give it two, three months, what was your impression of Seattle as a city? It was crazy. I mean, I had no idea what was Seattle. You know, seriously, the, my only idea of Seattle was uh, watching TV in France and uh, Grey's Anatomy. And I was like, okay, where is the hospital? <laughs> but uh, people told me, it doesn't exist. I'm like, what? <laughs> so yeah, it was uh, a bit... Uh, surprising for me but I didn't know a lot and uh, I just discovering like every day and I was like I fall in love like this city is beautiful people were very very nice now Zakawani well time to head to Jake Way he's onside he leaves it no one's in the net but two will just drive it in easily and the Sounders lead 1-0 well timed run by Nate Jaqua once he took the touch, Sebastian Latou came from behind the ball and then it was just a tap in. The first year, 2009. Um, tell us from your, like, your memories of that team. You know, we did the preseason. I think we went to Argentina. We went, is that what it was? Yeah. yeah. And then we played New York. You played in the first game. You started that game. Um, your memories from that first year and how different it was from USL now in MLS. Yeah, I mean, it was very different. Like, now we had a local room to change, you know. That's uh, <laughs> tough, you know. I think more money came to the team for sure. And you know, Ziggy came along, you know, new coach. So it was kind of like all new again for me because, like you said, so many players, you arrive, all the guys from the draft. And uh, at the end, I just kind of like to practice hard every practice to show Ziggy that, yeah, I'm, I'm able to play in, uh, in MLS. and. Uh, I, uh, I deserve my spot in, uh, in this team, so I just kind of like play hard every practice and you know, thinking of be able to play the first game at home against New York. I, I think as a footballer, if you can, during your career, you're very lucky if you can find one team to have a great connection with. You seem to have found two, so obviously Seattle, yeah. but here we're in Philly, we were at the game last night, we saw the ring of honor, there's only one name there, that's your name from what I saw. Um, why has it worked so well in Philly for you? When you came here, you scored a bunch of goals and now you're living here. So yeah. what, what is it about you and this city that end up working so well? I mean, like with Seattle and with uh, Philly, I think it's the same thing. It's just like with Seattle, like, I got lots of success as a striker when I played in USL you know, for two years. Even in MLS, but in MLS I just score one goal, you know. And uh, but I play a lot of game with you. We always play every game. We're always healthy and you know, stay stay active. And we had the Open Cup run with the one. So you know, when you win a title in a city, you always I think be there for uh, for a long time. So I think this was was great, and I had a great connection with the fans too, which was uh, important for me because I always enjoyed doing this. And when I came to Philly. What changed, I think, for me is uh, having the coach at the time, Novak, who called me and he was like, hey, I bring you because I want you as a striker. And even if, you know, the first year will be difficult with the team, we don't have the best result, but I play pretty well and I score lots of goals. And from that, I just kind of like keep going. And uh, after, it was just, you know, when you have success in a, in a team, I'm sure you know you can always uh, have a, a good time and it's always easier. So from that, I, you know, I met uh, 
my wife now from here and even if I got traded I was able to come back because uh, I can tell when I left uh, the fan was not very happy of me leaving even if I have nothing to say about it I didn't choose to leave but uh, coming back and when I come back I got another you know great uh, couple of years here it's, it was just kind of like a normal fit for me to after I retire to come back here because uh, in my nine years in MLS I played five and a half here I played I'd say three in Seattle, but two in, uh, in USL. Uh, yeah, it's always like the two, the two city I feel is the most connected for sure. Was it ever weird for you playing against the Seattle? It was, definitely. Especially like the first uh, game we played uh, with, with Philly right away. It's like, oh, let's go back to Seattle. I was like, God damn it. I don't really want to play them right away. And it was still like uh, the first time in, uh, in Philly you play twice, you know, the Western team. So. It was like the first uh, game of the season in Seattle. I mean, pouring rain and it was like very bad. But yeah, it was a, it was a weird feeling because I was like, I, mean, I just played with those guys like a couple of months ago, and now I have to like try to kick their ass in front of like the fan I used to love to play in front. It's pretty hard, uh, that's for sure. But you know, when you're on the field, you try to you know don't think about it too much. But uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, in you like the day before, and you know you see all those familiar faces like you're like. Oh hey, no, you don't take care of me anymore. So no, okay, I see you after. So it's uh, it's kind of weird. Like you know, when I had to tackle you, I was like, it. Well, sorry, Steve, uh, I'm going to tackle you from behind, but I don't really want it. But uh, if I don't, you go by yourself and score a goal. So so yeah, it's uh, it's a bit weird. And after we play the first home game here in Philly in our new stadium in front of you guys, I remember it was like completely different than the first game. So hot, so humid, and you know. And you guys killed us. Yeah. Yeah, I think we were more motivated than you guys. You were kind of like taking a rest. You were uh, too much heat for you, which was good. And uh, yeah, we took it over. But uh, yeah, it was uh, it was weird, especially like I remember I scored uh, the first goal on the PK and being in front of KC, I was like, it reminds me one of the practice we had when we shoot PK. And luckily, I don't know why, he went like up and 90, which should have never happened. It was just a uh, big luck. I'm sorry, KC, uh, I scored against you. But uh, yeah, it was weird to score uh, against uh, your whole team for sure. The last question I want to ask you is, in terms of soccer, I think you're one of the important pieces of Seattle because you helped them be successful in USL. People knew the sound his name because of the Open Cup runs and then we crossed to MLS. What do you think your soccer legacy is in Seattle? Or what would you like it to be? I don't know. I just, uh, I was just happy to play for this team, you know, like, like the legacy is not really like this person who can, uh, I cannot tell you, people can talk about it, but. It's not really what I, I care, I just had fun you know, playing soccer. Hopefully I make other people uh, having fun watching us play. And uh, most important is I think when uh, you play for a team and you care, which uh, I did when I played for Seattle, you always want to you know, bring the fans to the stadium, have them support the team and uh, you know, be one of the best teams uh, in, uh, in the country. So uh, the history in Seattle you know, and part of the history in Philadelphia Union, even if it's a short history, but you know, I'm here. So, it's hard to understand and seeing right now because you know we are just uh, freshly retired. But uh, I think you know later on it'll be uh, it's just an awesome feeling. And every time I, I just think about uh, my life here and oh wow, I'm here now. It's crazy because I, I never thought I was going to be uh, playing in America. It's just amazing to kind of see where I come from and where even soccer uh, is here now. It's uh, it's a huge improvement, and uh, I'm very happy to be a part of that for sure.